So Ruth Maria, can you take us through one of your working days? Sure. Um, so every day is different. Um, you'll have your shoot days and you'll have your editing days and you'll have your admin days and meeting clients, new clients or existing clients, or you'd have recce's um, of looking at um, projects to shoot. Um, but on a shoot day, um, the night before I get all my gear ready, just make sure everything's um, in order and get to bed early and um, it's up and out and we get to the project and we have a walk around and look at the entire space and I just clock what I need to do. We typically get started on the biggest space in the project and then just work through it throughout, um, throughout each room um, getting all those key shots for the client. How long does it normally take for an average day shoot to yeah. get the images? So it does depend on the client because if you're shooting directly for a commercial client with a commercial space or an architectural firm or an interior design firm, they might require a lot more images than, say, a magazine client. So with a magazine client, they would um, only require those key money shots because it's typically for a six or eight page feature and they just need the money shots. Whereas an architectural firm um, or a commercial space like this uh, for iconic offices would need a lot of images to showcase their space and their work and I gear myself towards what the clients will need so while I always stay true to myself and what I like to shoot and how I like to do things I will also bear in mind the end use for the client and give them what they need within my style. You have a background in different areas uh, can you bring all this together? Can you discuss how you approach, for example, your design background? Yes, I would describe myself as not just a photographer. And when um, a client hires me, they get a bit more than just a photographer. Um, they get somebody that will take a keen interest in them as a company or as a brand. I would kind of help guide them um, to position themselves strategically within their marketplace. Then I, I bring my experience to the table. So if we're shooting a project for them, I sort of instinctively know what they will need um, for their business. And then I shoot in a manner that has all that design um, background and principles in mind because they have a design eye, so then I have a design eye. And, you know, I think we're all on the same page then and it works very well. You can yeah. talk their language. I can talk their language, exactly. Um, while in Canada, I worked um, directly in an architectural firm, so I really got to understand um, from the inside how they work and how they think. And I learned so much from them and I photographed a lot of their projects and worked on an architectural book with them. And so I came back to Ireland with all that knowledge and now when I go and meet with new clients I, it takes only for a few minutes for me to understand who they are and what they are about and what they might need. So you mentioned uh, fashion photography and in a conversation just before we start recording you mentioned you had just had a big purchase of one of your images. I did. Can you tell us about that? Yeah so I was um, on an epic trip in Iceland um, getting some travel photography in and um, seeing the wonderful country and I had a, an email from New York looking to purchase one of my images uh, which was very exciting so I did have to wait until I got back to, to fully engage and see, see what was going on for um, a beautiful image that I had taken and it is now part of um, a campaign for L'Oreal in North America. That's amazing. Yeah, it was really good. You get those sometimes, you know, just out of the blue, something crazy cool will happen. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. Congratulations. Thanks. So, would you have any advice for somebody who's maybe starting out and looking to move into fashion or interior design photography? Yeah, well I think um, in general everything comes with experience. <laughs> Um, as well as being good at what you do and just keep honing your eye and your skill level. There's kind of no fast forward with um, experience. You know, you've got to put the time in and that time just gives you all that knowledge and makes you a much more confident photographer and you much more, it's much more instinctive than when you go on a shoot. For me, I'm because I have the design background, I would probably say it's just my eye is, is, is a key part to how I approach everything and what differentiates me. So that combined with sort of my experience and understanding companies and brands and how they work. 
from the inside um, sets you apart. So it's trying to find your, your niche and what sets you apart from another photographer. Right. Yeah. yeah. Super. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. <laughs>